I think this weekend is really about all the different students around the state who really enjoy science, technology, engineering, and math. And I think it's a great honor for me to be able to represent my district. And I think I'm really interested in bringing what I learned here and about the education opportunities in Florida and bringing that back to my district and back to my school and my friends back home. I really want to go into corals because I feel like it's very interesting and it's crazy that we haven't explored much of our oceans. I want to be a neurosurgeon and I expect busy days and uh, long hours. When I finish my academic career, I would love to go into a biomedical engineer. I'd like to do physical therapy or athletic training, something in that general area. I guess I'd probably want to do something in computer science or math. I haven't exactly decided, but um, possibly research. I'm very strong in math, so I would love to major in mathematics when I go to college and maybe one day be a math professor. We want our best and brightest to stay in Florida, and I, I believe that we not only want them to come back and be professionals in the state of Florida, but we want them to pursue their post-secondary endeavors in the state of Florida. This venue provides for that. They can talk to and interact with and see what might fit best for them right here in the state of Florida. I've been able to talk to different colleges from all over, some of them that I've never heard of and some of them that, I, that have been just outside my back door that I've really gotten to reach into for the first time here. I mean, you get to learn about pretty much every school in Florida, right? There's like 50 booths here and I didn't even know there was 10 schools in Florida, so yeah, um, it's, it's just a fantastic, fantastic opportunity. After seeing so many different universities here, it's really broaden my horizons, open me up to different universities available and what they have to offer. For us, it's incredibly important that we, we let the public know what, what it is we're doing so they get interested in it, that they support it, and that we can bring them in to work with us. You will discover and invent technologies that don't currently exist today. You will solve problems that we don't even know we have yet. Some of the workshops here are going to be particularly helpful to parents to let them know how to maneuver their way through that financial aid process or how to support their children in college without hovering over their children as they go into that next phase of their careers. This year, our institution, we brought five people. We brought educational services, we brought people in enrollment management recruitment, brought the dean of course, we brought a research scientist from our school, and we brought a research partner. It's been amazing. It's truly like, it's great to get to see all these colleges and meet with representatives face to face and really ask them my questions because, you know, they can't not answer. <laughs> I think that opportunity for students to investigate digitally is so very important, but that face-to-face -face really makes a difference for students. I think that if they can connect a human being with what their pursuits might be, it helps clarify for them really what they want to do. I think uh, students should always reach out to uh, admissions counselors and representatives from universities and create those relationships. It's been really beneficial to me, uh, getting some insight on what college would be like and what the steps that I need to take to get to the college that I want to be in. It's, it's fundamental in one of NASA's visions to encourage and inspire the next generation of scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, um, but it's also just fundamental to our mission and to our success to recruit the best and the brightest from this area and from all over to our mission and what we're doing, right? We're, we're challenging and we've got a lot that we need to go work on, and so we need them. As I've seen over time, they've only gotten better. I have a ton of young engineers that come in every day from UCF, from UF, Embry-Riddle, and I will tell you that, that their ability to think outside the box, to challenge some of the status quo of a 30-year program that had been stood up, is what will make the difference. And give me some of those guys any day that are willing to jump in, to think differently, and, um, and I'll put them to work because it's, it's really a phenomenal opportunity for us. Florida has for a long time talked about recruiting our best and our brightest. And when you look at a program like Sunshine State Scholars, that's just yet another way that we identify who those potential students are. We want them to stay in Florida. We want them to continue their education in Florida. But we also want them to stay here when they find jobs. And so we've got the right balance as we think about how we attract these students into our education system 
but also how we connect the dots for them as they look at the workforce in the future. I think it's a very successful program. I like the fact that we're recognizing academically talented students, uh, treating them like rock stars, and I think that's important. They take that message back to their community. It's been really fun getting to listen to the speakers and how appreciated that they are about us, that, uh, to feel wanted by the colleges around here, and it's really nice. Staying in state is definitely something that more people need to consider.